In this video, we're going to calibrate a pressure transmitter using the Fluke 729 automatic pressure calibrator. The first thing you want to do is connect up the calibrator to the transmitter using the 4020 milliamp jacks, going to the plus and minus on the transmitter. Then connect your pressure hose from the 729 to the pressure port of the transmitter. On the 729, you'll see it's on KPA. We're going to change the unit type. So you can use arrow keys to highlight KPA here. Press Enter. And then we're going to switch that to PSI. OK. Next, we're going to vent the 729 and zero the pressure. Then we're going to go to tasks and select the type of transmitter. In this case, it's pressure and current out. So we'll select number one. In this screen, we're going to select the uh, lower and upper range pressure. This transmitter is 0 to 100 PSI. So we're going to move the cursor down to the 100% the and ch change this to 100 PSI. 20 milliamp, press F4 to continue, and then uh, also we'll press loop power to power up. Okay, tolerance to range defaults to 0.2 percent. We'll leave that there. Again, use the arrow keys to move down to the different areas to uh, select. For example, test strategy, we're going to select three up, auto settling time. We'll leave it five seconds in the transfer function. You can have set for linear or square root. We'll leave that at linear. Press F4. Now select auto test. The Fluke 729 is going to go to each set point uh, with the pump. And then when it gets close, the automatic regulator will bring the pressure to the exact uh, uh, 50 PSI setting in this, in this particular test spot. And then settle for five seconds, taking the 4 to 20 milliamp reading. Okay, this calibration did pass. It's in the percentage of error. Uh, press done here to document the report. Um, tag ID is, uh, you can enter in the value. In this case, it's PT100. If you move down to serial number, you can now enter the serial number of the device. And then for user ID, you can select user list or put a name in. In this case, we can go to user list F1 and select the name of the technician. Once you've completed, press done. And now the calibration has been documented. If it was out of spec, you could go to make adjustments uh, and then do an as left. In this case, it is in specification. So you can press F4 and you're done.